What's up guys, it's Mike. Uh, I'm going to do a little review on the new action figure, the Punisher. I figured, you know, it's one of the coolest figures I've seen in a while. So I figured I'll share with you guys and tell me what you guys think. I don't know if you bought them yet, if they're out by you, but I know we just started getting them recently by me. So I picked up three. I'm going to have two displayed, one with the... Uh, original Jim Lee look and one with the other face and I'll probably just see this other one so I only picked up three uh, if you guys heard my uh, I guess my mail call the other day and I saw where I got them from and what happened there was like six days so I only picked up three so let's open one I guess it doesn't matter which box we open make sure you guys can see that okay And I don't collect boxes, so I know a lot of people do. I'm not really worried about keeping it. I'm a professional reviewer, but I'm going to show you my tape. Put it to the side. Here's the other head. I like the detail on it. Got little veins in the bicep right there. It's <laughs> pretty cool. I definitely like it a lot. Not sure about the legs. As long as he stands, I'm good. Stands pretty good. Alright. See how it holds the gun. Gun's kind of hard to get in there. No trigger finger. Now I'll break off his thumb. So you can see that. See his thumbs up. Not looking that great. I'm gonna pop out. It stands good. I like the detail on it. Love the white headband. Bandana. Definitely a cool action figure. Definitely, I think it's a must-have for any uh, Frank Castle fan. So, let me know what you guys think of it, what they can improve. The only thing I just don't really care for is he doesn't have a trigger finger. So, I'm not sure if people are going to make customs on that or whatnot, but 